Alright everyone Maharib is here, and I was in the middle of creating a Chlorin video. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that, but then I thought this video is more important to make first. It's about standard weapon banner in Wuthering Waves. I heard some people saying it's good because now you won't have to worry about pulling on standard banner and worry about getting a weapon instead of a character. So now you have more options to choose if you want a weapon or a character, and some players are saying since no one is going to pull on weapon banner anyways, so now it's even more difficult to get the standard weapon because for that, you need to spend your wishes on weapon banner. To be honest, both parties are at the right. Also in my opinion, if there was a different currency for this weapon banner, just like we have for limited weapon banner, it could make things interesting. For better or for worse is up to you to decide and also depends on how they handle the reward system. But I just wanted to let you guys know about my strategy for weapons in this game because surprisingly, the weapon banner system in this game is nothing less than a blessing. You see, you get at least 30 to 40 wishes at the start of the game, meaning you can easily get a 5 star from beginner banner. Then the next banner lets you choose what character you want to wish for. And the item they gave us as a compensation to wish for a desired standard 5 star character. It means out of 5 standard banner 5 star characters, almost all of you guys are guaranteed to get 3 different 5 stars already. And if you re-roll a little bit like me, and try to get a 5 star early from your first 10 or 20 pulls, that's an extra 5 star character for absolutely free. That was what happened to me. I got Verena in my first 10 pulls, then Encore from 40 pulls and beginner banner, and then I summoned Kung Fu Panda Girl from the compensation convene. And now I selected Calchero from the beginner standard banner. Meaning in the next 50 convenes, I am guaranteed to get Calchero as well. Just for the context, it is because I've already spent 30 wishes on this banner. You can get a chosen standard 5 star in 80 wishes after spending 40 wishes to get a random 5 star on discounted beginner banner. And since I don't like Lion Boy that much, I don't see any reason to pull on standard character banner anymore. So this weapon banner is like the best thing that can happen to us in this game. We can already get one 5 star weapon after reaching level 45 and can also choose what 5-star weapon we want to get next which is guaranteed. So it's huge. Secondly, you can already lose your 50-50 on limited banner and get standard 5-star character. So weapon banner is still really good to spend your standard wishes on. But now, let me give you some insights on constellations versus weapons. As I see this, constellations are not as big of a boost for these standard banner 5-star characters as opposed to weapons. Calchero gets more energy for himself, not the most important thing in the world. Encore gets a little bit of damage boost which is okay, but not as good. Verena gives more healing, her healing already at C0 is more than enough. Jinxin gets additional chi, whatever that means. And Lingyang gets interruption resistance in his burst form. Wait, I think that's pretty cool. But still, when it comes to 5 star weapons, Gauntlet increases basic attack and skill damage, Rectifier increases basic attack damage, Sword increases attack, Broadblade increases burst damage, and Pistols increase, wait, when outro skill is released, increases the switched in resonator's attack by 10%. You mean I can't use this to enhance the damage of my DPS Amber I mean Chishia? Come on, that's not fair. Also, all of the weapons increase energy regeneration. And that's pretty cool. Not to talk about the secondary stat which is attack or crit rate that is useful for almost every character. I know I just talked about first constellation of each character, but guys, I am also comparing them with one copy of a 5 star weapon. So we're even here. If anything, for free to play players who are not willing to ever pull for limited weapons, this is amazing. Getting crit rate, energy recharge, damage bonus with a high base attack that you can switch to any character you want. Sounds like a pretty big deal to me as a free to play. Especially when I compare it to constellations that I know I will be able to get them eventually with my Bennett level of good luck. But now let's talk about limited weapon banner. My advice, never convert your strides for weapon convenes. Why? because you will get 6 weapon banner wishes every month. With a little bit of calculation, I was able to decipher that you will be able to get 80 wishes in only 13 months. Incredible. At that time, we will have enough knowledge to know what limited 5-star weapon is most effective and universal. That way, we will be able to wait and pull for that weapon. So yeah, I am very happy with this system, and would like to propose a suggestion to at least pull for one copy of all weapons after getting your three or four favorite standard banner characters from the early game rewards. These weapons will be a whole lot more valuable pull especially for free to play players who will never pull for limited weapon banner at all. And also, let's be real, after getting a few more limited 5 stars, no one of us will play these standard banner 5 stars. They will get benched eventually. I mean who plays with Deluke after getting Arlequino, right? But if you are free to play with no limited 5-star weapon options, you can still use Skyward Spine on her. The point is that these weapons will always be usable in your account instead of these characters that you will bench one by one eventually. 
and I think most of the limited 5-star characters will also love to have these weapons. Although I haven't pulled in this banner till now because I have to get Calchero first, but we can get 4-star characters from Weapon Banner as well. So I see no reason not to pull for weapons instead of characters. Yes, if after getting one copy of all 5 of the weapons, you want to go for a constellation of a standard banner character, you can test your luck. Oh, I should have raised this point sooner. Since you cannot choose a specific 5-star from your standard character banner, there is no way for you to actually get your desired constellation. For example, if you wish to get Lingyang C1, it is never guaranteed that you will get him from standard banner ever. But in the case of weapons, since you can select them, you can even go for your desired refinement. Man, this is awesome. I can't believe I am appreciating weapon banner even more than a character banner. That's not likely of me. We all mostly see weapon banners as a scam. But in this game, I see more value on weapon banner than the character banner. Interesting. I hope a certain other game also take inspiration from this game and change its systems. Why am I coping? That's not possible. In other games, whether it's Genshin or HSR, content creators suggest you to stay away from weapon banners for valid reasons. But with this new system that Kuro Games introduced, I think it's even wiser choice to get these weapons that will help each and every character instead of pulling for these standard banner 5 stars that you will not care about at the end of the day. It's just like Mona and Taina Ari in my Genshin account. My Mona is still level 40 because I already have both Furina and Nuvalet. So there is no reason for me to even level her up. And same with Taina Ari because I already have Nahitha for Dendro application. And some really good DPS characters. So I never felt the need to play with him anymore. So if I were to be pulling on standard character banner even after seeing that at the end, I could get another Mona, or Taina Ari, or Chi Chi, or Kaching. That would not be a very good decision. But please, I need Deya. Hoyoverse just don't want to give me the only standard banner character I love the most. That's so harsh. But I would still like to have some standard banner weapons if I could. But shame, Genshin don't have that kind of system. It's a big big W from Kuro Games to implement this system, and I would really like to take full advantage of it. There is just one thing that is problematic in both of these games. It's pretty obvious that Wuthering Waves is taking notes from Genshin Impact and making improvements. But the amount of standard wishes you get as a reward is very rare. And no one likes to spin their Astrides or Primo Gems on standard wishes, right? So they need to find a way to give more standard wishes as rewards. From limited time events, or from a certain endgame, or any other means. I know you get a lot of standard wishes from the start as I mentioned earlier, but this is just a one-time perk. After that, we will start to see that getting standard wishes is even more difficult than getting limited pulls. So if we start to get standard wishes as rewards, that would make things even better for players like you and me. Anyways, I think that concludes the video. I just wanted to appreciate the system and I thought, maybe this will help you strategize better for your account. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel because Clorin's video is coming very soon and I will be talking about her details. I mean, her details, no, I mean, her kit details, weapons, artifacts and teams. Come to think of it, I haven't created any video on Clorin since the beta launch. And also I will try to release a video on Siegeween as well. I think she's really cute and is not getting the praise she deserves. Come on guys, show some love to our cute nurse. You don't find a lot of people who care about your mental health. Don't forget to join my Discord if you want to connect with me, and I will see you in the comments section. Peace.